One day, a group of alumni, who were considered successful in their careers, decided to visit their old university professor. When they met, they were very happy to see each other and began to share casual updates. But very soon, conversations turned into complaints about their work, relationships, and life in general. While overhearing their conversations, the professor went to the kitchen and made some coffee. Upon returning, she brought back an assortment of coffee cups made up of different materials like paper, plastic, porcelain, glass, and ceramic. Some of them look expensive and exquisite, while others are cheap and ordinary. The students chose their cups and sat together to enjoy the coffee. Conversations carried on, and the professor was curious to ask them about how they liked the coffee. Everyone expressed that it was decent, just like a normal cup of coffee would taste. She then shared her observation and said, Look, if you noticed, everyone went after the most expensive looking cups, leaving behind the plain and ordinary ones. It is normal that many of us want the best for ourselves, but this can also be the source of our complaints, problems, and stress. The cup itself does not enhance the quality of the coffee. What we all really wanted was the experience of the coffee. But many of us subconsciously spent a huge amount of energy to find the best looking cups. Some of you would even compare your cups with others hoping that your cup is better. Consider this. You see in life, in our lives, it is a bit like a cup of coffee. Our jobs, money and material possessions, society status, and constant comparisons with others are just like the coffee cups. The cup is important to the extent that it holds the coffee for us to drink. Its purpose is to simply serve us the experience of the coffee. Instead, we shall ask ourselves this question. How can we make the best cup of coffee that we desire to experience? Introspectively, we would discover that the quality of our coffee simply lies in the relationship we have with ourselves and also with those who are important to us. It lies in the purpose and contribution that we want to devote our time to. It lies in the positive difference that we can make with our role. And it lies in the kindness that we embody in our daily actions. These fulfillments do not require a fancy looking cup, but it does require our genuine intention to brew a cup of excellent coffee. We hope you like this story empowered by Maniology. Together, let's continue to inspire and empower each other to simmer in love, kindness, respect, and appreciation in our own cup of coffee. Remember to savor the coffee and not the cup. If you believe this story will benefit a friend, we hope you can share it. Have an amazing day.